Surprise Arizona is growing and they're looking for businesses to come and be a part of their community. And one company will fit right in and that is IKEA to the city of Surprise, right? Well, we're also here with the Swedish American Chamber of Commerce Arizona to make some great opportunities and talk about how IKEA should be there and how you guys made it National Cinnamon Day. Jay here with me and Janine uh, from the city of uh, Surprise. Before you do anything, before this interview starts, I believe we need to get into of course, Cinnamon Roll Day by putting on the official IKEA Cinnamon Roll hats. Oh. <laughs> Happy Cinnamon Roll Day! Happy Cinnamon Roll Day! <laughs> so this is great. Jay, let's expect this. So this is awesome. All right, let me let me first before I get to, of course, uh, you, Janine, about the city of Surprise and IKEA because we've had you on before. We had, uh, of course, Swedish Meatball Days. Jay, I got to bring you in because I didn't know there was actually a Swedish. Uh, American Ch Chamber of Commerce here. And so that's something you said it's been a little secret here, but how long have you guys been here in the community? It's close to 30 years here wow. in Arizona, but as a chamber, uh, chain of chambers all over the U.S., we've been here for a little bit more than 100 years. Right. So we have a long tradition. I love it. And you've been uh, as uh, in charge as a president for five years now. And you said one thing you want to do is start getting your name out there. But what I also love too is that you said, you know what, we want to open up to other countries to be a part of it. And so you guys also represent what other countries. So we, we are more of a resource in the international business community of Arizona and Phoenix. And so we have French members, German members, uh, Norwegian, Finns, uh, Icelandic and Denmark people. So we open for anybody who wants to create more jobs in Arizona by helping Nordic companies succeed here. And one is IKEA. And we were talking about this, that there's some great land out there, but also too what's really great about the city of Surprise, it's growing in an awesome community way. That's right. I mean, it's a it's a recipe for success. You know, no pun intended. But uh, we, I mean, we're we're building great locations. We're growing so quickly. I don't think that there are many cities throughout the nation just growing at a pace and a clip. Um, and it's not just a quantity of growth; it's a quality of growth. We, we're growing a lot of young talent, a lot of young families. People are moving to Arizona um, and to the West Valley um, for new careers, new opportunities, and they're just, they're talented and they want great places to shop. Yeah, so. and, and one is Ikea, and, and listen, love the Ikea, it's over there in Tempe, it's in that Tempe, Phoenix area, that's great for that part of the valley, but when we talk about the West Valley, it's really hard for some people to go from that area all the way across town and then come all the way back with, of course, you know, IKEA furniture that they got to put together. So they're tired from driving, and then they got to sit and put together. So that's why it'd be awesome to have the IKEA out that way to serve that community. And that's what Cinnamon Day is all about, right? It's right. You know, I would say the key to anybody's heart, it's through their stomach. So um, we're, we found out that this was, was a day. In fact, I'm going to back up if I can tell a quick story. Yeah. When I first met Jay, um, we were talking about Meatball Day. We wanted to be all involved in, in everything that the Swedish Chamber was doing. And, you know, he said, the, the Meatball Day, it's an IKEA thing, but it's not really a Swedish holiday. But a big deal is Cinnamon Roll Day. And I said, tell me everything. There it is. All right. So, Jay, tell us about Cinnamon Roll Day. And, and we have some rolls yeah. from IKEA here. But why is it such an important day? Well, I mean, cinnamon rolls is one of the first baked goods that we in Sweden learn to bake at home or in school. Uh, and uh, we just keep doing that and eating it uh, until old age uh, retirement. <laughs> but the history of the cinnamon roll is very, very simple. It's, it's started in the 1920s. Uh, food was fairly scarce in Sweden. Uh, so the cinnamon roll is basically a wheat loaf that we put a little bit more cinnamon and spices into, a little bit butter and sugar. and we make it into a, a feast, yeah. so to speak. So it's a very humble baked goods, but it's very deep uh, in yeah. our truth. And I'll tell you right now that IKEA uh, cinnamon rolls are very dangerous, okay? Yes. I think they need to have you as a limit how many you take, because I've gone there and got like four or five of those. <laughs> Some reason they disappear, two of them at least in the car before I get home, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, and the other ones, I don't know where they go. Uh, so how's this gonna work today? How, how do we celebrate Cinnamon Day? So first of all, just find a cinnamon roll somewhere in your community. We chose to um, seek out some local cinnamon rolls and surprise. We invited the Swedish Chamber to be a part of a day yesterday. Um, we, we got a council member involved, got the mayor involved to give a proclamation, even our assistant uh, uh, police chief 
um, joined us. We sampled um, cinnamon rolls from across Surprise, all these local vendors. It was beautiful. Um, and we all have our different take on what a cinnamon roll is, and so we talked about that. Um, cinnamon roll versus cinnamon bun, etc. And IKEA, of course, was amongst the selection. Yeah. So IKEA got an award. They were most desired, of course, but <laughs> all of our cinnamon roll entries um, got an award for either the best icing, the best um, aroma. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, we, we just had such a great selection of local vendors. I love this. Well, I have to say, as we wrap this up, your office is amazing to make this fun to bring businesses in, especially IKEA. If you're paying attention, we're going to send this to you. Come, IKEA, to City of Surprise. Come. Really quick, though, a shout out to your uh, your office really quick, uh, of course. Oh, the, the, the whole team in Surprise um, is just so excited. We are, you know, they're, they're excited that, that we're on this, this program talking about IKEA and talking about um, the ways that we promote um, our community to the, to the businesses out there. Like we it. need everything. We're hungry. We are. There you go. <laughs> and, of course, you can go to the City of Surprise website to find out more. You know, you can go to IKEA and just send a little note and say, come to Surprise. And we'll find out more about you. We have information on, of course, the Swedish uh, Chamber. So I thank you very much, Jay. Thank you, Jeannie, for coming in.